Hi everyone! Today I am going to scrapbook a photo of me and some new friends that my boyfriend and I had made when we went on our cruise. This is a picture that we took on our last night of dinner together and it was really fun. You know, we didn't go on a cruise with any of our friends. My boyfriend and I just went by ourselves so we got matched up with this really nice couple. Um, their names were Bailey and Matt and it was just pleasant to have some company during dinner. I decided that I wanted to put it on this floral pattern paper because it just reminded me of like the tropical location that we went to. So I usually like to add a background sheet of paper to the photo, but when I decided that I was going to use this orange sheet, I had just tossed it on top of the pattern paper and tossed my photo, and I actually liked how the orange pattern sheet of paper landed on my page. It gave more focus to the photo with this diagonal layering. So I glued it down and didn't do my typical border around the photo method. Since I hadn't used my brown thickers yet, I decided I would use them on this page, and the brown stands out really well on top of the orange. So I put Bailey's name on top and Matt's name on the bottom. I actually don't know how to spell their names, so I kind of used some artistic license to just spell it however I wanted. Um, I didn't have enough T's, so I decided to just spell Matt with one T. I also used one of my die cuts um, right in the middle of our table. I kind of wanted to cover up whatever was on our table, so I decided to use the ampersand right in the middle of our photo, so it covers up whatever mess we had there. I'm using these Dear Lizzie flags that I had made. Um, some of the sentiments were really applicable. One of them was, go see do. Um, another one was happy day, because actually this was the evening that my boyfriend proposed. And then the other one had a sentiment of new friends. Because I had so many florals, I thought that you can't go wrong by adding more. So I pulled out these die cuts I had left of the flowers and leaves and made them the three areas of embellishment on the page. And that's where I added the different flags as well. To help my flags stay put, I actually used glue and washi tape. So the washi tape was able to hold down my flags um, a lot better than just using adhesive glue. And then to cover up how awkward the washi tape was over the stick portion of the flag, I just took the flower die cuts and cover that up. So that worked out really well in my favor. That's usually my technique when I need to cover things up. I just layer more embellishments on top until you can't see whatever you're hiding anymore. I have a few more enamel dots left in my kit, so I thought I'd just use them up. Um, all the colors that I had left over were also on my page, like this light blue and this bright red. And I added two to each section except for one because I just ran out of enamel dots at that point. So I know the name of our new friends are actually really big, and technically they would be the title of the page. But I actually wanted the title to be Dinner Mates, um, because that's what they were. They were our dinner mates for this cruise. And I think titles don't necessarily have to be the bigger portion of the layout. You can have titles and you can have subtitles, and no one said titles had to be the bigger font in order to be considered the title. So that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree. I wanted this layout to be called Dinner Mates. And that's what I'm adding on to the left side of the photo with these green glitter alpha stickers. So the names are taking up the upper portion and the lower portion of the orange pattern sheet of paper. And now I had just added the green stickers to the left of the photo. I want to balance it all out, so I've decided to add my journaling to the right of the photo. And what's great is that there are ready lines on this pattern sheet of paper, so my writing's actually not crooked or slanted. I just wrote that we were assigned to a table with people that we didn't know and that they were really nice, and it was great to have company for 
most nights for dinner. And then now I'm just adding the date that we took this photo on. Um, I picked the sentiment travelogue because we were traveling. And I just added it right on the edge of the pattern paper. And that's pretty much my page. Pretty quick and really easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I hope you have a crafty day.